So that uh, the first question that uh, will come when we discuss about SAP Ariba. So that question will be what is SAP Ariba and why SAP Ariba and what are the benefits that the client will get if they will go with the SAP Ariba. So we will try to find out the answers of those questions. So basically Ariba is a cloud based procurement solution and that is completely on cloud based and it is dealing the complete procurement activity like uh, if you talk about from the general business point of view so in the procurement activity that we have to create purchase position purchase order goods received invoice rfq contract so like that so ariba is also supporting all those solutions that means that customer they can get all the specific solutions regarding to the procurement activity on a single platform and it is also quite similar to the SAP MM and SAP SRM as well. That means that customer who is already using this SAP MM or SAP SRM solutions. So this is quite sim similar to the Ariba as well. That means we have to follow the same process for whatever that our customer they are following in the right hand system. So that is the SAP Ariba. So generally now we'll try to find out the answers why SAP Ariba. So as we know that now the current in the current time that everything is on internet or we can say in other words like the internet of the things. So everyone would like to do on the internet and everyone would like to do the fast processing. No one would like to invest that some major time or more time in a single activity. Even if you take the example from our personal life as well, so we can take the example of the banking services. So let's take the example of banking services. So three to four years ago, whenever we have to perform any kind of banking activity, what we are doing, we are just visiting our nearest banking branch, and there we have to be in queue. We have to fill up the form, and based upon that, our requirement, either we can do the office. But nowadays, I think most of the cases we are not visiting that any of the. Um, the um, bank branches and everything we are performing with the help of the mobile application and we can also perform in very quick way so like this is a common example like uh, the, this is the requirement of the customers as well same way the our customer they are also looking the same smart approach so that with the minimum efforts they can perform the any kind of business activity so in this in this way the ariba is providing this platform where the customer they have to put very minimum papers and they can take the benefits of the major order. And uh, one more example I would like to give as a fast processing. So generally when we have to create that purchase position or purchase order in our item system, so there we have to provide a number of information. For example, if we have to give the material number, we have to give the plant, we have to give the shortage, we have to give the price, like that. So, in overall, to create a purchase acquisition or purchase order in the backend system, it is takes around uh, 5 to 6 minutes. Whereas in the Ariba, if we can perform, we can create this activity within few seconds. Why? Because the Ariba is given the completely user friendly screen and the system will automatically populate all the information based upon the uh, configuration and only we have to provide very minimal information. But I would say around one to two first information will be enough to create a purchase piece or purchase order. So that is why with the Ariba, the customer will get that uh, very good efficiency and uh, they can reduce the cycle time and wherever we reduce the cycle time, so definitely it will be the cost effective as well. That means they can simply save the manpower time and they can apply to the other thing. So these are the benefits of the Ariba. That is why the customer is approaching with SAP Ariba. And Ariba, uh, Ariba is also providing that our major options of the Ariba network. So let me just quickly open to one note. Okay. So generally in the Ariba, that we have the two parts. One is the Ariba wire, and in after that we have Ariba network. And last in the Ariba supply. So here in the left hand side we can see this is Ariba buyer that means our customer and in the right hand side these are the Ariba supplier that means the supplier who will supply the products. 
and in between are both that we have the platform of the Ariba network. So Ariba network platform is the uh, Ariba platform and where that any um, buyer, Ariba buyer or any of the Ariba supplier, they can simply start their business trading relationship on the Ariba network. So what they have to do? Whenever a new buyer, they have to, they would like to use the Ariba network. So they have to perform the registration process on the Ariba network. And if any kind of supplier, they would also like to use this Ariba network. So they also have to perform the registration process on the Ariba network. And after completion of the registration on the Ariba network, that supplier can utilize the Ariba network platform. And from buyer side also, they can utilize the Ariba network platform. So it is just like as if for example this a LinkedIn, so like LinkedIn platform, so where any of the person from the buyer side or any of the person from the supplier side, they can simply connect to each other. And whatever the business trading let's see, they would like to start, they can simply start. So this is also a better platform of the Ariba network and this is completely on cloud so the transparency of the information between the supplier and between the buyer will be 100%. So there will not be there will not be any lack of the communication and each and every communication will transit automatically between supplier and buyer. Okay. Now let me just brief you the solutions of the SAP Ariba. So basically in SAP Ariba that we have two components and one component is called as the upstream second component is called as the downstream and in the upstream that we have some bundle of the solutions and what are those solutions that is supplier sourcing and contract same way in the downstream we have some bundle of solutions that is the to to pay and get it. So these are the that means means main solutions that is supporting uh, supported uh, to the uh, procurement activity. So in the upstream that we have the supplier solution, sourcing solution, and contract solution. Supplier solution in the same supplier solution in the sense that we have to simply just create the supply report so whatever supply report we need to create we can create the supply report here and we can initiate for the supply registration processes in the upstream service same way the sourcing solution so sourcing solution is providing a approach a platform where the supplier they can initiate their quotation process so generally if we talk about the quotation process in our backend system so we have major gray area in the quotation process. Just for example, so if our customer they would like to include some number of tasks, some number of supplier in our backend system quotation process, so those options are not available in the backend system. Whereas in the SAP Ariba that we have the sourcing module and this sourcing module is providing a broad platform where the customer whatever they want, so they can do. They want in the sense if they would like to invite a number of supplier, they can invite a number of supplier, and if they, they would like to control the bidding events as well, so they have the options. They can simply control the bidding events, like when bidding should be restarted, when bidding will be ended, and how the supplier will submit the responses. So, like those e steps that sourcing solution is providing, and the customer easily can utilize the sourcing service. And next one is the contract. So contract is a very efficient forward. That means uh, like how we are getting a contract in the backend system. Same way that we have the options in the Ariba, we can create the contract. So whatever the outcome that we will receive from the sup supplier after the sourcing process, that outcome we can simply input in the contract and we can create the contract. Second solution is the downstream part. So in downstream, that we have two main solutions that is procure to pay. So procure to pay in the second, so this complete P 2 p cycle and in this procure to pay process only that we have the process we can create the purchase requisition, the purchase requisition will convert in the purchase order and receiving, invoicing and the last in the pay. So that's something we have to do in the procure to pay solution and the last one is the catalog. So catalog is nothing. It is just like as a material master in the backend system. So that means whatever the product that we would like to configure in the Ariba, so those products we can simply configure in the Ariba is in the form of the catalog. 
So these are the main solutions supported by the Ariba to build the requirement of the customer for the procurement for the All right. Now, so like this that we just included some in this slide that you know that uh, what is SAP Ariba and what were the benefits of the SAP Ariba. So before going to switch from this slide, let me simply just uh, tell you some brief about Ariba and history about the SAP Ariba as well. So basically Ariba is not the new voter, it is a very very, very old voter and Ariba is founded in 1996 and that time Ariba was supporting only that compromise solution even though that time also they were supporting that uh, the complete solution like uh, the paper solution, contact solution, solution solution as well but they were supporting as a compromise and each and every solution has a different separate like a platform so whenever the customer they would like to implement this compromise solution so they have to use a different platform but later point of time that Ariba realized that now everything to become on cloud and everyone is looking the internet activity. So in 2010 they introduced the cloud version. And in 2010 they started the supporting of the cloud version as well as the consumer services engine. And later in 2012, SAP company they acquired this Ariba company and they reformed as the SAP Ariba. So from 2010 to itself, the SAP they just added Ariba in their like uh, portfolio and they reformed and after uh, acquiring they made lots of changes in the Ariba. So the major changes what the SAP uh, company they made in the Ariba, so they just retired this on premise solution. So that means they were not supporting no that is on premise solutions no more and they separated the information to all of the clients that they have to migrate from the on cloud to the on cloud service and later on still that lots of changes that is going on in the sap Ariba and every quarter the sap they are releasing their new additional functionality in the sap Ariba service now this slide is just explaining that a system architecture about the sap Ariba. so here we can see that we have the four blocks so in the right hand side we have the client browser and uh, next we have the web server and in third one we have the application server and in the last block we have the external system so generally that when that uh, whenever the customer or the supplier they have to execute this sap Ariba solution so they will use their local machines like laptop desktop mobile tablet whatever and they will execute that environment from the local machine so once they will execute and whatever the information they want to they would like to see, they have to provide on your local machine. And those information will pass automatically to the web server block. And the web server will capture all this information for whatever the power customer they would like to see in front of the system. And from the web server, the same information it will pass to the application server. So basically in application server, we have the different object model based upon the each and every activity. Just for example, report manager. So report manager means that uh, that will take, take care of the target reporting activity. So just for example, if our customer they would like to see that report parts on their local system, so they will provide that some parameter or some filter that means whatever the report they would like to see. And those reports will come to the web server and from the web server they will hit the report manager. And the report manager will again pass the information to the object model and through the object model it will be out to the persistence manager. So basically persistence manager is that they are playing that major role and the persistence manager will check all that information as the, uh, that information is correct or whatever is entered by the customer or incorrect. So based upon that it will just simply save the data in the database server or it will retrieve the data from the database server and it will again uh, route back to the customer system and the customer will be able to see the report all. And in the fourth block that we had that there is an external system so that means Ariba is providing this option so the customer they whatever the EAC system they are using like either it is SAP or non SAP whatever so we have the options that we can simply integrate that BGC system with the SAP Ariba 
So these options are available and we can simply integrate. So we have the integration option. That is why in the fourth block we have extended the system. So in high level, in the SAP Ariba solutions, we have the approach if customer would like to use Ariba solutions on top of their legacy system, so we can simply the integrate and the customer will be able and uh, this slide is talking about the data security so you know that uh, data security is a very important parameter from the point point of view and uh, even now in the Ariba we are always working on the internet so definitely customer will worry about, about the data security as a data is secure or not so they need to also uh, check the this part so Ariba is promising that customer data is completely secure on the Ariba network platform and no need to worry for any kind of data security. So why? Because Ariba has given this some complex system architecture from all the data security, so there is no chances of the data leakage from this system. How? Just try to understand quickly. So we can see in the left hand side that we have buyer and supplier and they will use the internet just to work on the Ariba and with the help of the internet whatever the information they would like to pass to the database server. So information in the sense, information may contain some kind of report, some kind of transaction or even login information. So that the same information will pass to the first security firewall. And this first security firewall will filter out all the information to be checked, will validate all the login information, the report information, financial information. And if the first security firewall will find that all the information is correct, then only it will pass that uh, the same information to the web server and the web server will hold the information and again it will pass to the second security firewall so second security firewall means that in general you can see this is just filtering the information so this will again check all the information like credential, transaction information and report information and again it will pass to the different application server and from this application server information will pass to the third security firewall that means we are doing third time filter and once the third security firewall will, will confirm like all the information is correct then only the data will go to the database server or data will retrieve from the database server so on this uh, in on this uh, system architecture that Ariba is all saying that customer data is completely secure and uh, there is no chance of any kind of leak all right so let me move to the next so in this slide we can see that Ariba is providing this complete s2p solutions like uh, whatever that the solution will be required that means we can simply analyze our actual data just to find out the scope of the purchasing so we can find the scope of the purchasing we can perform that uh, registration process we can create the supply record in the Ariba platform we can initiate the registration process we can also conduct the bidding events as well and post bidding event that we can create contract and post contract we have to utilize the contract and if we utilize the contract we have the options we can create requisition approval order and we have to dispose with the payment so like the Ariba is providing complete S2P process S2P in the sense from the supplier to payment process so this is something we already discussed and let me quickly switch to this uh, post content. So in the post content that we, we will start from the introduction about the SAP Ariba. So we'll see the page we will discuss about this part of the Ariba and uh, we'll see about some service and navigation options as well, like whatever that we have to perform on the dashboard. So we'll just discuss here and next we'll move to the our subject so we'll start from the supplier solutions and we'll discuss how to build supplier how to perform the registration process from supplier side and how we have to um, process this particular example so that's something we'll discuss in the SMP solution and later we'll move to the sourcing solution so sourcing is nothing that is the quotation solution and we will see how to create the quotation and what are the information and what are the solutions that you can deliver in the sourcing and how we have to improve or how we have to work on the solution and how we have to provide the solutions. Even we will also see like uh, what are the activities that supplier and to perform, perform once they will receive the quotations request from the buyer side. So those activities we will see in the sourcing session. 
and later we'll move to the contract management and in the contract management we will see that step by step process how to create the contract and what are the different types of contracts are available in the SAP Arena. so that's something we'll see in the session of the contract next we move to the p2p process and in p2p process we will discuss about the complete p2p process like we will create we will see the end to end cycle we will create purchase condition conversion of purchase request into purchase order receiving pricing and so apart from this p2p cycle we will also discuss about some reconciliation and exception and the process in the invoice and we will see about the payment in the and one more additional feature that is available in the SAP Arita procurement solution that is the contract compliance. So that's something we we'll discuss about the contract compliance. So basically, contract compliance is nothing that is the basic, uh, like basic of the basic feature of the contract solution. So in the procurement solution as well, the customer will have some options so they can simply create the contract. And next, we will move to the configuration part. And in configuration, we will see that what are the configuration that is embedded in the SAP Array part. We will see about the configuration. Just for example, approval to the configuration. So, generally, in the backend system, whenever we have to configure any kind of workflow, so we are taking our technical team and we have to provide the logic for some like uh, the like requirement, how the application looks like. And based upon our requirement only, they are configured in the workflow, and uh, that workflow will take place. Will take place. But in the same way, in the SAP Ariba, there is no role of the technical person, and everything we have to configure. So we'll see how we have to create the workflow and how we have to include the conditions as well in the workflow. So like this, we have a number of configuration, and we will see what are the configuration options are available in the Ariba. And uh, later we we'll move to the integration part. So integration is a very important. And in the integration, we will discuss about the CIG integration topic. And we will see the activity to perform the integration with our SAP and our service in the backend system. So that's something we will see during the integration session. And we will also discuss about the integration scenario because if we talk about the integration scenario from client by client, so the requirement will be there. So we will discuss about the integration. And uh, next, we move to the guided bank. And in the guided bank, that we will see that like how what are the activity or what are the features that is available in the guided bank. So generally, this guided bank is not a separate module. This is an additional feature that is available free of cost on top of the procurement service. So that's something we will see in the guided bank, and we will see one thing to in the particular process. How to get the purchase request in the guided bank approval to PO, GR, mobile company. So that's something we discuss in the guided bank. And uh, in the last step, that uh, we'll move to the reporting part because reporting is a very important topic. So we'll see that uh, what are the report options that is available in the SAP Arena and how we have to create some custom report and what are the standard report that is available. And we'll also see how to schedule that annual report in the agent background. So that's something we'll see in the reporting system.